Hi everyone. Um, I hope this is going to be alright because my um tripod attachment thing seems to have broken. So I've had to spin the camera around. Um, I hope everyone is well. I hope you're all okay. Um, I am just going to be doing. Well, actually, yeah, I'm going to be doing my rollover from this week and my um I have basically withdrew my um interest and my roundup and my cash back I've earned so far through Chase since um possibly the beginning of February. Um so that money is also going to go into extra income. Um, um, our budget oh, this week, it kind of all went a bit messed up, to be honest. Um, so I have shuffled some money about because basically we had money left over from fuel. No, we didn't have money left over from fuel. We had money left. We had £30 left from tobacco. We only spent 20 um, which, as I said before, that is mine and my partner's, like, spending, instead of us having spending money, we have money for tobacco. Um, and we were technically under budget for food shop as well, which is what this is. Um, and we didn't spend much of our buffer, but we... Um, um, what was I going to say? Oh, we did end up buying Easter stuff. So I've took money from the family fund folder and I've took a little bit from emergency. Um, I wouldn't usually use emergency money, but because I want to make sure that, you know, I could have used some of this, but we're trying to save as much as possible by the end of the year. It's all sort of, it all ends up the same in the end. Um... I have made these savings cards as well for myself. Um, and I'll explain how they will work in a minute. I've also got like a mini one that I've made for my kids. So that needs to go in their binder. Um, but basically, all rollover money at the moment is being counted on this and going in our rollover tin. All other income, so save the raise over time, £1, £2 and 50p's and extra income. I'm going to be doing on these um it doesn't look like much but this actually does add up to quite a lot of money um oh, I've got to stop saying um I did it doing all my videos and I mean I find it annoying so you guys must find it annoying so yeah so we're going to do that I just need to go and find my dry wipe eraser so, yeah, so basically, oh, right, first of all, quick tip, if you need to remove Sharpie from your savings challenge, challenges, I find this is the easiest way. So get yourself a dry, a dry eraser marker. I've got ones with, like, little foam erasable ends, which are even better. And you literally... Right, hang on. If I get my Sharpie, I'll show you on this in a minute once I've explained. And I just scribble on there. Dry it. Wafty, wafty. And then, literally, just get your dry erase marker. Draw over the top. And then, if you've got an eraser like me, you literally just use the foam piece on the end there you go wouldn't even know it was there would you absolutely brilliant this literally changed my life <laughs> and there's obviously like other ways um so this is how i redid my tins i rewrote all my tins so here let's do it on this bit because i had to cross that bit out so I just scribble over it with my dry erase marker, like that, and then get my foam bit and just rub it away. If you haven't got a foam bit, 
on yours. You literally just use a piece of kitchen towel. You don't need any alcohol gel. Life changing. I think I'm going to edit this and put it as a short. <laughs> um. I know it works perfect if you've got kitchen towel. So if you, if, yeah. There you go. Um, anyway, after all this shenanigans, um, so, um, how many, how many, I'm going to start a counter for how many times I go, um, on here. Anyway, right, so, I have put some money in my Save the Raisin Overtime this week already of what I've been paid. So, it was... 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 115. I know that because that's what this adds up to. And what I'm going to do now is, right, so essentially this is like my level one, my level two, and my level three. Okay, so this column adds up to 20. This column adds up to 120 so I don't know if yeah I've got if you get the gist um I'm gonna have to spin this around aren't I because it's not gonna work out oh I'll just have to re-record it if it doesn't work oh I can't re-record it once I've put the money in the tins <sighs> right hopefully I can record I can upload this okay Anyway, right, so what we're going to do is, because I want to be able to do this one again, so like that would be the, that when I, so that's when I do it the first time. So this is what I'm going to do. So I've completed that one now. So I'm just going to delete these. Ones. And also, with like this technique, you can do it for like the smallest amount. So like I've got a tiny amount of pen there. You know, you can just do it for the bit you need to do it. So if you've got savings challenges, like I don't want to rub off all of this. That's why I don't want to use alcohol gel. Doing it this way, I'm not going to disturb that bit and then I just use my phone bit to rub it all off and do you know what it doesn't ache my arm like it's literally no effort everyone's going to be going on Amazon now and buying alcohol um, dry wiper razors ha! oh I'll be editing that bit out Right, so yeah, so there you go. So now I've just deleted it all. Hope you guys can see this video all right. So I'm going to cross off 20. Oh, not with my dry one. Not with this one, I'm not. <laughs> um, I'm going to cross off 20 because I've already done it once. And then we're going to stuff this much no I can't even remember what belongs to what now should I just stick it all in I'm just gonna stick it all in right this is roll it I think that's roll over so that can go there right so I've got a five pound. Let's cross off the five. I bring my little tin. Up. Oh no, it's not roll over. I want is it? What do I want? This one.
can you see that? So I've crossed off the five. So that five can go in. And then I can cross off the ten. So I've got a ten here. And then I've got 20, 40, 60, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 91. So, hang on a minute. Right. 20. another 20 another 20 10 20 And 20, the last 20. So now we've completed all of these ones as well. So we're going to cross off that one, that one, and that one. And all of these are going to be erased for the rest of this money that I need to put in. And then, like, once I've completed this one, I move on to this one. Um, and when I added it up, it did add up to quite a bit of money. So, I'm going to print another one off, I think, because I haven't got a savings challenge that adds up to this amount. I might have got it incorrect, but I'm pretty sure if I fill this one... Is it if I fill this one? I'll pause the video in a minute and I'll add it up and I'll come back with the total. I know I was quite shocked when I saw the total and I thought, you know, there is probably no way, like, I'm not going to get the this challenge completed um, before the end of the year because it's just an... For me, it's an obscene amount of extra money, you know, because like I said, this money for these challenges, like I've got my rollover on that, which is my money that's left over each week. Um, but once that's completed, I'm going to move that over to this as well. And then this is for save the raise over time and extra income. So it's just money that we haven't budgeted. Um, so I don't expect to finish this challenge at all. Before the end of the year. I'm so sorry if I, that I keep sniffing. It's, um, I've got an awful cold. Right, now I've showed you my lovely magic trick. I'm gonna pause the video and while I rub this off, I'm gonna add up the total of what, the, if I complete this one, the, what a class is level three. If I could complete the level three and all and these two are blank, work out what I'll work out what the total is. Give me a second. This on this page adds up to eight thousand two hundred and eighty. So basically, if by an absolute miracle if in December all of this is crossed off. I've got eight grand between my tins, basically, um, which is an abs absolute ab ab obscene amount, um, and we won't reach that. But that's fine because the reason I'm doing, I'm, I, I'm just doing the track is to kind of keep me motivated. Don't expect to finish this one at all, but it is 
absolutely the perfect amount for something that I've added to our budget which I will show you guys in a minute and I will also show it in my cash to come video in the next video in case anyone hasn't watched this one but I've got to clean this off right I'm going to just pour Ta -da! right so that's my level 2 that's level 3 I am going to um reprint these off slightly different because I want to basically make myself a little book out of it like a little binder thing right so I've got 20 there so that is also going in here I'm pretty sure I've got these mixed up guys and I've put them in the wrong tins but it doesn't matter because it's all being split between the same stuff at the end right two three Right, I've got a pound and 50 peas. So that can go in there. I've got a two pound coin. I've got three pound. Oh, and I've got two pounds. Well, I haven't got another two, so I could have just crossed off the five or something, couldn't I? Get rid of that. I've got another two, so I did, so I can do four. That one there. Right, so that is that one done. Oh, do you know what? Let's take this out. I'm going to use that for something else. So how much is in here? 40, 40, 60, 70, 85. Right, so let's move 85 onto here. 20, 40, 60, 80, 5. That's off that one, because I'm going to use that for something else. Right. And I'll use all of these now for all of the tins. So 20, 40, 60, 65, 70 is going into rollover. Yeah. 20, 40, 60, 70. So, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Is that right? 20, 40, 60, 65, 70. If that's right. And then this can go and roll over. If I hadn't have already started putting money in all the different tins what I would have done probably and what I'm going to do next year is I'm just going to combine it next year in all in one tin um because I'm going to do exactly the same as this again in January for the whole of the year um but I'm going to have save the raise over time extra income and roll over all in the same tin because it's all going towards the same stuff at the end but in a way I've kind of glad that I've done it this way this time because I'll know how much I've made from each one so that is that oh I've managed hang on a second let's um update that while we're here And I've just realised I've got another day left of the budget, but it's fine. We don't plan to spend anything tomorrow. There's no shops open anyway. Because it's Easter Sunday. Um, I think I will do this every Sunday from now on, ready for when we start our new budget on the Monday. 
and each um each Monday possibly upload some new videos. Oh, I've done the wrong pen again. Not videos. Um do our weekly cash stuff in. So that is that. So that's that all up to date. £393. I'm actually really shocked at how much we've managed to save already. Like, didn't expect it to be anywhere near that amount. I think I literally bought these tins. I think I literally started it the start of this month. So, yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. Um, And, you know, like... If I didn't want to save for such a big amount, I could just like use this one. Three hundred and thirty hundred no two hundred and thirty. Two hundred and thirty pounds that saves you on its own. Um so yeah. So like if I've got different things to save for, I could just I could just use the separate cards if I wanted to, but obviously that would mean like to cross off this one if I was to just use that one on its own. I'd need quite big amounts. So by doing it this way and like levelling up, it makes it a bit more easier for for when you've got like, you know, when you've got less money to stuff. Um, so they can go in there. And I just wanted to show you um, obviously this is my like big goals for this year binder so obviously at the moment we'll concentrate on emergency fund then it will be towards bills for next year and then mortgage overpayment home repairs and new car fund uh, between the tins and this is our new envelope because I would like to save up for a nice holiday for the end of 2025 or the beginning of 2026 because me and my partner will be celebrating 10 years together. So this is the little thing I've made because since my brothers got married, quite a few people have asked if we're going to get married and we'd like to. But if we did, it would probably be quite a low cost budget wedding. I don't want like any, I just don't want fat, anything fancy. Um, and I'd rather put the money towards a holiday or a trip. So, just because, you know, why not? Okay, there you go. So it says, wedding or holiday, what will it be? Only time will tell. We will have to wait and see. So, basically, depending on how much we manage to get in here in the next two and a bit years, will depend on whether... We just have a wedding or we get a wedding or we have a big holiday or we do both. Um, not really sure yet. We'll have to wait and see, like it says. I just thought that was like, just thought it was funny, to be honest. I'm quite cute. So yeah, so those are two more that I've added to my um, binder. This one, um, for the last year or so since I turned the big 3 i really had like, you know, reflections on life and what's important to me. And one of them was that I wanted to travel more. So other than our, so basically for the next couple of years, I would say for me personally, our budget is going to be, you know, we've got all our other little goals for this year, but a lot of my money, I think, I will be saving to travel, to go on holiday, um, you know, all different kinds of holidays, see all different parts of the UK, hopefully, possibly different parts of the world. Um, and like I said, like, this is quite poignant for me. Um, 
because of the birth slash yeah because of just the birth I've had that always reminds me how lucky I am to be alive let's put it that way but also recently um a cot um a lady that used to do bank hours with us um she passed she passed away like two and a half weeks ago um most amazing woman ever um i'm not going to go into details but yeah um and then end of this week middle of this week it's all become a bit of a blur um a friend who I've known for 20 years, passed away. And so, you know, and she really did live life to the full. Um, she was only a year older than me. Yeah, it just... I honestly don't know what to say, but it's just made me realise even more how precious life is um and none of us know if we're going to get tomorrow so that's the reason for this one i want to go more places and see more things um but yeah yeah that is it and i will do my cash stuff and video and i will upload that but yeah, thank you for watching. It's been another chatty one, because it always is with me. Um, have a lovely Easter weekend, and I will see you all soon. Take care, guys. Bye.